we caught him in the act. Bow chicka bow wow. Oh. Do you guys know what this is? Look at that gnarly stuff. Just a beautiful animal. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Landon Cher and it is a beautiful day here in Miami, but it's actually just finished raining and that rain has brought out toads, invasive cane toads filled with a crazy toxin on their back. We got to go over to the zoo because I just got a call that they were finding a bunch of cane toads by the lion enclosure, which obviously with that crazy toxin is not good. I'm going to change my clothes right now and head over to the zoo. So guys, we are at ZWF Miami right now and we are about to head over to where they were seeing all of these toads. They were seeing them just around one of the lion cages mainly, but they're all throughout the property. So we're going to have to look through all of these bushes really low, really deep. They can be in, in any of these dark areas and they blend in really well. You guys are just gonna have to see how many we catch and I really don't know how many we're gonna find. Comment down below right now how many toads you think we're gonna find today. But with that being said guys, well let's head over to the area that they were seeing them and see if we can find any. So as you can see behind me, we have some big lion girls, Umbali, the Thai Liger, and Zulu, the big male lion over there. You can show him on the camera right there. Look how big and beautiful he is hanging out this morning. And these big, beautiful girls, hey, how you doing? Now these girls, these girls could get seriously poisoned by one of these toads. Right here is where they were finding a lot of toads and we've actually spotted the first one. He's tucked up in here i gotta watch my back so i don't get too close to this cage because these cats could hurt me but more importantly this toad could hurt these cats you can see right under there he's just hiding in there oh he's about to get away he's about to get away but if we go like this oh, oh, oh. follow me follow me he's right here and we're just gonna scare him under here right there not the craziest capture ever but look at that little male cane toad. Now obviously we're gonna have a big problem with these guys because this is the first one and we've only been here for about a minute. He's starting to pee on me. You hear that call? Now it's crazy to find one this quickly. Oh, he almost got away there. He almost got away. What do you guys think? Does that look pretty tasty to you? Now this guy, sadly, is just born in one of the most terrible situations. He's an uh, invasive species here. They're originally from Central and South America, but they were introduced here through the pet trade, and now they have just taken off in, whoop, they have just taken off in our ecosystem down here in South Florida. There's really nothing that can eat them. Even over in Australia, they've taken over as an invasive species and they have these insane poison glands right here. Now, if I squeeze on his shoulders, oh, did you see that poison come out? Look at that. Is it bright enough? Look at that gnarly stuff. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. We're gonna squeeze this one right now, right here. Oh, don't wanna get that in your eye. We're gonna squeeze this out. And this is not hurting the toad at all. This is a defense mechanism that the toad is born with. The way God has designed these beautiful guys to say, stay away from me, I'm poisonous. The problem is, is just that our native wildlife wasn't designed to be able to eat these guys. Over in South America, there are certain snakes that can eat them. Are you making a lot of noise here? Um, over in South America, there are a lot of snakes that can eat them. There are caiman that can eat them, but here there really isn't many things that can take them down. So they're a huge problem. These guys can have a lot of eggs. Well, not the males. Hopefully we'll find a female. Those females can have between 8,000 and 30,000 eggs at one time, which is just crazy and part of why they're breeding and taking over our ecosystem so fast. So let's get this guy in the bin and keep looking for more. We have him here, we have our big old bin. Oh, and he's jumped right in. We have a little bit of water there for him so he doesn't get too dry. Now, guys, you can see that thick poison is still on him. Some of it squirts out right in the beginning as it's shot, but some of it will stay right on that gland. And this toxin here is so 
terrible. I wanted to hit on it again. A lot of our dogs here, cats, our, I've had dogs personally, Mauricio behind the camera, his bulldog just got one the other day, and what happened is that dog sees this thing hopping along and naturally says, I wanna get that little thing, it looks like one of my toys. Bites onto it, and that toxin gets all in their mouth, it can really mess up little dogs and even kill them. It can be fatal. For bigger dogs, not so much. If they were to eat one, it could probably cause a lot of damage. Um, usually it'll cause a lot of foaming at the mouth. Some dogs may even get seizures. So this fatal toxin is a huge problem. Now, a lot of people say that toads can give you warts. That's kind of a myth. Just because they have these bumps doesn't mean you're actually gonna get warts yourself. Let's take this little guy and put him away. We're stressing him out enough. We've removed one. Let's see how many more we can find. So we have been looking and we have found a couple more over by the lions, a couple more males. Now we're looking over here by this other pond. Toads, again, they're amphibious, they're amphibians, they're attracted to water, they need water to survive. They're gonna take that water in through their skin, they don't really drink it, but if we look around here, that's where they're gonna be. Now, oh, Mauricio, we have one right here. Turn around, turn around, go right down there, under, he's hiding up under that brush. Look right in there. Oh yeah, here, zoom out again. So we got a little girl in here. Oh, she just jumped away. Where'd she go? Got it right here. These guys are pretty quick. Now, we got this little girl. You can see her coloration is different. She's much darker. She doesn't have as many fine bumps. We'll get a male in a second so we can do a comparison. But their eyes are just crazy. They're nocturnal species, so they do a lot of hunting at night. And the prey that they're eating can be alive or dead, which makes them such opportunistic feeders. And these guys will literally eat whatever they can fit in their mouth. That mouth might seem pretty small right now when it's closed, but when it's open, these guys can take down small birds, mice, insects, fish, really anything they can get down there. Got these crazy big legs for hopping. Now they don't hop as high as a frog because they got all this weight to them and that's just how they are designed. But again, guys, this crazy poison. We're gonna try to squeeze some out here. And again, this isn't hurting the animal. This is a defense mechanism. These glands are designed for this, like I said, to say, stay away from me. I'm a big mean toad and I got, oh, that just shot at the camera. We got a crazy amount of poison in there. Now this little girl could produce, again, thousands of eggs, which hopefully by taking her out of the ecosystem, we've taken away a potential mama to all those little tadpoles and saved this ecosystem from thousands of these little guys. So we're gonna get her into the bin and keep looking for more. Guys, you won't believe it. We've been looking around everywhere. We found a couple more, but there's mating toads right here. Now we've walked away so we could set up this little scene, but look at this. We try not to let them get away. We have some mating toads right here. We got a male right on this female's back. Now I don't know if he's currently mating. Maybe he was mating her early this morning. We're gonna catch him. Oh, come here. Look, he's making all that noise. Look how big that female is. She feels like she's loaded with a bunch of little babies. Now you see, we caught them in the act. Bow chicka bow wow. These little guys, we're getting it on and that's kind of how they do it. But I'm gonna take this male. You can see he's grabbed up under that gland and he won't let go. She's trying to get away, but he absolutely will not let go of that girl. So crazy, right? These cane toads, are just crazy. Their armor on their skin, if you've seen a dog bite them before with their gnarly teeth, or even if a lion was to get one of these guys, it might not puncture if they were to just regularly grab this animal. Their skin is so tough. But as I was saying earlier, that skin can also absorb water. They don't drink water, they take it in through their skin. Whether they're in ponds, sitting there at the water's edge, they don't like the water to be too deep because they can actually drown if it's too much. So they have to be able to get out of the water, hang out up here in a cool, dry place, and then be able to return, which is where usually they lay their eggs. These guys, 
we're about to lay some eggs, as you can see. So it is awesome that we're able to remove them from the zoo and from our ecosystem. Check out those eyes if you get really close. Just a beautiful animal and really put into this bad situation as I was saying before guys. They, it's not their fault that they were put in this situation that they need to be removed. They belong in South America and I wish we could get them back over there. Unfortunately, we're probably going to have to euthanize these guys because there's nobody who really wants to keep one of these. And there's just so many of them that... I, I really don't know what to do with them. If, if you guys have a better solution, comment down below and give me some ideas so maybe we could work together. I was thinking of even doing a catch and cook with them. It is sad because they are so beautiful, but removing them is the most important part. You can see he has this little scar, it looks like up here. He might have been grabbed by something around here. Hopefully nothing's gotten hurt. But anyway, let's go get him in the bin. So as we were looking around the zoo, guys, we have Limbani here. Adil has taken Limbani out on a walk, as you guys have seen us do. And now you guys have seen Limbani on the channel, the big four-year-old chimpanzee. And he's a really good boy, so we're going to be giving him some treats. I brought these little candies from home, and he just thinks that these, hey, 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 he thinks these are the most special thing in the world. They're little honey candies. He can have a few of them here and there, but just like a little kid, you don't want him to eat too much. We're going to give him that. Let's see, you like that? And he's just gonna suck on it and enjoy that. Little things like that for monkeys and animals in captivity is really good enrichment just to make something new to their day. Give them something sweet, give them something new. Keeps their head healthy, their mind right, and taking them out here for these walks like Adil's doing is just great enrichment for him as well. But with that being said, let's keep looking for these cane toads. So we have caught, I think, about as many toads as we can, at least for right now. Mauricio and I have been walking around trying to find the craziest ones, the last ones being those crazy mating toads. And now, guys, look how many toads we have in here. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my, are you getting that on the camera? Oh my gosh. Look, oh, it stinks. Look at this guys oh. Do you guys know what this is these are toad eggs these would eventually be tadpoles Remember when I was telling you guys how many eggs and babies these guys can have look at this I'm gonna try to get a big handful of it. It's so oh it stinks guys there are so many of these eggs 8,000 to 30,000 from one toad. So take an average of 15,000 from this. That's 15,000 potential toads that were in our ecosystem. I mean, we already have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight toads in here. Oh, that's, oh, that really stinks. But guys, look at that. They're trying to get out. I think we did a pretty good job for today. Now guys, here at the zoo, don't be worried. We're doing stuff like this all the time. I'm not the only one who can catch toads around here. So if there are any more, whenever somebody sees one, we catch them and remove them so our animals do not get hurt. But guys, oh, that really stinks. I don't know why it smells so bad. This is just insane. Now, that big female in there either laid these or she might have more of these in her belly, which makes her so big and fat. But that's not actually fat. It's all of these tiny eggs. So crazy, guys. Thank you for joining me on today's adventure. If you liked the video, throw a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.